How complaining affects the brain and general health. While we may think it feels good to vent, complaining has some bad effects associated with it. First of all, what aspects of life make people want to complain? In the aftermath of the recent presidential election, many people are grumbling, regardless of their political persuasion. Cold temperatures due to winter's ice and snow also rank highly on the list of things that displease people. Yet these are only the beginning. Many of us have fallen into the habit of making complaints about everything, from bad hair days to troubling relationships. Even when life is going well, we often overlook the positives and fuss about one thorn among the roses. Why isn't complaining beneficial? Research shows that it rewires our brain for negativity. The brain is designed to work efficiently, meaning that when we repeat a thought, negative or positive, the nerve cells form a bridge between each other to expedite the passage of information. Consequently, the next time we have a similar thought, it is more easily transmitted. This mechanism explains why certain thought patterns quickly become ingrained habits. Yet the detrimental effects don't stop there. A study from Stanford University shows that complaining causes the hippocampus, which plays a vital role in problem solving and other cognitive functions, to shrink. In addition to causing brain damage, complaining also releases a stress hormone, cortisol, the fight or flight chemical the body produces when we encounter some danger, a response that is essential for survival. However, constantly having a high level of cortisol results in high blood pressure, high blood sugar, and impaired immunity effects that may eventually cause obesity, diabetes, and cardiovascular disease. The ill effects of our complaining aren't just limited to ourselves though, they also involve those around us. People tend to mirror the moods of those around them, so we should be cautious about constantly complaining when we're around our friends. The best way to deal with constant negativity is to develop a sense of gratitude. Just like complaining acts as a poison, Gratitude acts as a medicine. Research shows that having gratitude lowers cortisol levels by 23%, as well as reduces blood pressure and cholesterol. It also decreases fatigue and depression. Gratitude is the perfect antidote for complaining, a behavior that steals our brain power, happiness, and physical well-being. So what have you observed about the effects of complaining in your own life or in the lives of others? Have you noticed any positive effects when you are grateful for something? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoy this video, be sure to check out our website and other social media. And don't forget to subscribe! Thanks for watching!